that bit up. Hey everybody, what's happening? What's going on? Welcome back to the channel. This one's a little bit different because uh, there's no events really this week. So this is pretty much just an update. Number one is the golf is pretty much completed. Not my project or project call. Come on, come on, come on. Let's see if we can take that. Nicely, the golf is pretty much kind of sorted. It's not all the way like finished, but um, Mike was, was feeling it, was feeling the pain. There. I'm thinking, bike duck, yeah. Right. So, yes, so the golf is sorted and it looks pretty good. We had, we had it sprayed, we the engine bay was a little bit fresh enough to spray the engine bay also. Um, my dad got a new bottle and stuff like that, a new grill, um, sun visors, flaps, we sprayed the rims over the chicken rims, got the centers for the rims, which is, actually wasn't very easy and the interior was nicely cleaned up. So the golf is pretty much kind of sorted, it's, it's my dad's car so it's not going to be modified, it's not going to be dropped, there's not going to be rims on it. My dad just wanted a nice stock car that he could use to you know just knock about with. That's that. That guy sorted. Then also, I learned how to make my own snow foam. So this was just an experiment by me, and I don't know. I was just, you know, spitballing one evening or one afternoon, and I'm like, no man, I have to. That, that must work. So I made this mix, and it worked. So check this mix. Check it. Check it. Um, it's a secret, but I'll tell you the secret. It's one half bubble bath. It's a big set of skin. I think bubble bath. Um, one tenth of that car shampoo shield and then the rest water and then just dilute it ever so slightly and I'm gonna put on the pressure washing and see what it does oh, just that thickest of shaving cream lather boys this is so cheap. Just talking about how cheap it is. Let me just do the rest of the call. It is very soapy, like even if you gotta take a foam cloth or whatever. Can you just see there? It just brings all the dirt and just slowly falls down. And it smells great. It smells like someone took a nice foam bath now. That capsule is nice and clean. It's just okay. It's just grabbing all the dirt. It's just taking it off the car. Brilliant. Now let the car drop actually for a bit like this. And then get a foam and just go over it. Get a sponge, go over it, and then just wash it off. That's the mix, and it works perfectly. I haven't had any issues. It doesn't mess up the paint or anything like that because it is, for one, not very harsh chemicals at all. Car chemicals and chemicals that are for your body. So it's not very harmful. Oh, new golf. <laughs> Looking nice. And I think it works perfect. Okay, so also, this, this part I want to add because you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna. And that is, yesterday was the Formula One. Let's go down that rabbit hole, people. Let's go down that rabbit hole. I am on nobody's side. I only followed F1 this whole season. Okay, just the last three or four races. And I honestly think if I ate, no, y'all balls up real big, real big. So much races have been finished under safety car. What was wrong? And then they want to like say it's fair for like the last lap because they want them to race. How is it to race between a dude with brand new soft compound tires for that track and a guy with 40 plus lap old tires? How is that a race? Please just someone tell me how is that a fair race? You could see Verstappen gap him. When the straights come, you know Mercedes is a little bit faster. You could see Mercedes catch up to the Red Bull. 
but still, it was tight. You know, Max, Max is stepping, you know, you know, congrats. What, what an amazing, cool strategy y'all had with the uh, uh, um, tire, tire plan, tire strategy, whatever. Worked out perfect. Worked out perfect in your favor. And you had a free put on safety car. Wow. Yeah. I'm not crying. I'm not crying. I'm not crying. Next season. Next season, bro. Let's do it. Uh, I'm a little bit Mercedes Benz biased, but still, you know, nothing wrong with Honda. Absolutely nothing wrong with Honda. Very good car. Clearly a very tight race on soft tires and, and hard tires, you know, between the two. So that's why I always say the same with qualifying. If they had the same tires for qualifying, who would have qualified faster? You know what I mean? If Hamilton was on soft for qualifying, he would have been pulled for sure. Anyways, I'm gonna let that go. Thank you guys for watching, and I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. I'm out, I'm out, I'm out.